This video will show you how to record and play multiple MIDI instruments in Logic Pro X. The instruments that I'll be using for this video include the Complete Control A49 keyboard in the Alesis Nitro Mesh Kit. I use a USB hub and an audio interface to configure the instruments with Logic Pro X as shown here. You can see that connected to the USB hub is the audio interface with the gray cord. The other cord is going out to the keyboard which I'll show you in a second. And in the back, I'll also show this better as well, is the MIDI cable that is going out to the electronic drums. Then all these devices are connected to the MacBook Pro via the USB hub. This is what the back of the audio interface looks like with the gray USB cord going out to the USB hub and the MIDI in cable connecting the electronic drums. This is the connection to the electronic drums and this is the connection to the keyboard. This is what it looks like in Logic Pro X after I have chosen my software instrument. The big problem is, however, that I am not able to play both instruments at the same time and I am also not able to record both instruments at the same time. Let's take a look at the following three steps that will solve this issue. The first step is to set your recording preferences in Logic Pro X. Click on the Logic Pro drop-down Go to Preferences, Recording, then click the Recording Project Settings button, and make sure this Auto Demix by Channel if Multi-Track Recording is checked. This is the Alesis Nitro Mesh Kit User Manual, specifically the MIDI setting instructions. If you see the GM section down below, the general MIDI modes, you can see that when you set this to off, channel 10 will be available to you to configure. This is what I will configure for the port in Logic Pro X. To set the general MIDI mode, click on the utility button here, then press page select to get to GM. And then make sure this is set to off, the GM general MIDI mode. If it's set to on, just click to the left and that will set it to off. And then hit save and your drum module is good to go. To configure your instrument's MIDI channels, open the inspector panel if it isn't open already. In the track section, you'll see a configuration for MIDI channel. Let's go ahead and set the keyboard to channel 1, and then we'll set the drum kit to channel 10 as we saw which is available to us in the user manual. The final step you'll want to take is to make sure that both of your instruments are record enabled. Make sure both instruments R button is highlighted in red, like this. Now that you've made all those configurations that are necessary, you'll be able to both record and play both instruments at the same time. Happy recording! Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below.